On July 17, 1998, a tsunami struck the northern coast of the island of New Guinea. The resulting waves quickly overwhelmed the coast. Villages were destroyed. Thousands died. A tsunami is the result of an undersea earthquake. The massive energy from the earthquake is transferred to the water. Whenever a body of water is disturbed, a wave is formed, as you can see from a pebble dropped in a pond. In fact, the earthquake itself is made up of seismic waves, which are vibrations in the Earth's crust. So the energy from the seismic wave is transferred to the energy in the tsunami wave. The New Guinea earthquake hit very close to the coastline. This meant that there was little time to warn the population about the tsunami. This also meant that the size of the tsunami was large. Throughout the Pacific, there are detection devices that monitor the oceans to check for earthquakes in the ocean and possible tsunamis. These devices consist of a buoy on the surface of the water and an earthquake monitor on the ocean floor. Together, these devices provide an early warning system for tsunamis. Earthquake magnitude is a logarithmic measure, but the amount of energy that an earthquake releases is exponential. This table shows the dramatic...